you remember he never said this but someone reminded me marty would always put when he wrote emails or when he wrote in the uh, the thing they hand out right breathe peace i mean i don't know if you ever heard that breathe peace but i always wonder about what what if you had bad breath i don't think that's very peaceful is did you see that last sermon marty did he talked about going barefooted and how when you go to someone's house they tell you to take off your shoes because they want you to feel welcome <laughs> that's not that's not right at all is it I'll tell you what, when people tell me to take off my shoes because they want to keep their carpet clean. That's why they tell me to take off their shoes. In my house? No. You leave your shoes on. I can clean the carpet. I don't want to smell your feet. Does, what? You know, does Matt's feet smell? How would I know if Matt's feet smell? Ask Tim Bird. He's up there with him all the time. Helpful. Hey, uh, in September of 2008, Marty Fischel comes in here and takes over it, uh, as pastor of Parkway United Methodist Church. And standing on one leg, Marty initiates the benediction at the end of each service. Uh, we still do that today. Uh, he requests along with this that we hold hands and to make it even more uncomfortable, he then begins to talk about other things as we're holding hands with maybe people we're not comfortable holding hands with. Um, but it certainly brings the church closer together. Um, also later in 2008, uh, Hurricane Ike thunders in and does quite a bit of damage here to homes uh, in Sugarland area into other buildings and what have you. Um, Marty preaches his favorite sermon, Do the Do, which is the story about the manna. And at the end of the service, everyone gets a Mountain Dew to take home with them, uh, including some children. Um, but what we see from this is we see Parkway going out and serving and helping the community in a time of need. In 2009, Michael Jackson and Farrah Fawcett die on the same day. The Philippines are hit with flooding and hundreds die and the swine flu threat is a problem as well. General Motors files for bankruptcy and Houston elects Anise Parker as mayor. Paul Klein's vision of the Sea of Galilee becomes a reality and many members and friends enjoy the beauty of it. It's used for worship, including sunrise services, weddings, and baptisms. Parkway aims not to be the best church in the community, but to be the best church for the community. We participate in the home project, which brings other churches together to go out and serve the community. Parkway then initiates taking it to the streets, where we take one Sunday during the year and instead of going to worship, the church comes together and goes out and serves the community and participates in other programs to show and share love of Jesus Christ. It truly brings the church closer together. It's a real practice what you preach moment. Matter of fact, some of us actually meet members of the church we had never met before simply for the fact that we'd gone to different services throughout the year. With this coming together and serving the community, there's also financial struggles later in the year and throughout. So the church has to come together and we put together a capital campaign to address the debt. As we move forward into 2010, in the sports world, the Texas Longhorns lose to Alabama in the championship game as Colt McCoy is injured in the first quarter. In 2011, the Houston Texans draft J.J. Watt with their first pick. That is followed up by their first AFC South Division title and first ever playoff win as J.J. intercepts a pass for a touchdown. In other news, Apple Steve Job dies and Osama bin Laden is killed. Difficulty and terror in the world does not stop and neither does Parkway. We kick off getting the game to inspire members to serve and participate here at the church. We initiate the great experiment to uh, do a church-wide study as new groups are formed as well, including the Tuesday tailgaters. Under Marty, we are, uh, meet new challenges, but we meet these new challenges with Christ in our heart. We rise up to meet them, we live on faith, and we live this by example each and every day. Membership at Parkway declines, but the heart of Parkway is as strong as ever. Valerie takes over as the children's ministry leader, and Gary Malone is hired. Yeah, back then, Gary Malone was hired under Marty Michelle. Let's remember that. The church presents and we vote to sell off the Chase lease to address debt. Even in financial difficulty, the grace of God is alive and well here at Parkway. Marty reminds us, Breathe peace, for you are the best of the best of the best. And there's nothing we can do to make God love us less. And imagine if we live that each day. Good morning, Parkway. Tom Searnan asked me if I would say a few words about my ministry and what I thought and what I felt and what I remember uh, from the years 2008, 2013. There's a lot. There's a lot I could talk about. I could talk about how my first weekend was uh, Hurricane Ike, which was an interesting way to begin. I could talk about um, the 
the debt of $5.84 million and that Gail Smith always corrected me when I said it was $6 million, so I've gotten that down. I could talk about uh, the different people who touched me and, and supported me while we were there. I could talk about how the great day when Jill and I uh, got married while we were at Parkway and the fantastic reception and the, we received uh, from you guys. I could talk about how you caused me to have stents in my heart, but you really didn't cause it. It was my mom's fault, but that's another story. But when I think of Parkway and my five and a half or five years there, I, I think about the people. Um, too many for me to name, but people who have touched my life, people who have meant the world to me, and people who I still love and care about. Um, because at the end of the day, if you paid attention to anything I preached about in the five years I was there, you know that what's most important is it always comes down to community. And that the reason why the church exists is for community and for one another. So when I think of Parkway, I think of you. Uh, more than I think about the debt of Hurricane Ike, I think of the love that you gave us and the love that I have for you. And so as I say goodbye, once again, let me remind you that there is nothing you can do. Never make God love you less. Because when God sees you, he doesn't see the mistakes that we made. He simply says, wow. You're nothing but the best of the best of the best. And that's what I believe about you. And that's what God believes about you. Thanks again for the time and for the memories and for the love. Take care. God bless. Have a great day. So get, oh, I bit, I bit my tongue. Coach, I'm only out for three weeks.